Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Pretty Pink Posh's Layered Woodland Stencil Set. For a sentiment, I have their Sentiment Strips Fall Set. I'll also be using their Stitch Torn Rectangle Dies, their Sentiment Strips Dies. And I'll be using three leaf dies, and these are from the Small Stitch Foliage Die Set. And if you are interested in any of the products I use in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. I bring cards to a local retirement home every month, and I realize I'm short on fall cards. So I thought I would use Pretty Pink Posh's Layered Woodland Stencil Set and mass produce a bunch of cards. There are four stencil layers in this set. The first one has all of the leaves. I selected three different ink colors, and all of the inks I'm using in this video are Catherine Pooler inks. Once I finish all of the leaves, I'll move on to the second stencil. This one has the bottom of the acorns, the top of the mushroom, and also some foliage. I covered up the foliage openings with some tacky tape. Don't want to accidentally get red ink on those areas. Once I finish with all of the areas I want red ink, I'll wash the stencil. I find the easiest way to wash a stencil is to simply run it under water. If I'm using something other than regular ink, I will use soap and water. The Catherine Pooler inks wash off easily from stencils. I'm using the Eucalyptus ink color from Catherine Pooler for the foliage, and I did cover up the top of the mushrooms and bottom of the acorns so I don't get any green ink in those areas. Now I'll move on to the third stencil layer. This one has the top of the acorns, the bottom of the mushroom, and some small leaves. I switch to a smaller blending brush from Waffle Flower. That way I don't have to mask off all the different areas. The ink color for the bottom of the mushrooms is pink champagne. For the top of the acorns, I use icing on the cake. And for all the tiny leaves, I'm using green tea. I love stenciling on craft cardstock. Gives the card a completely different look than using white cardstock. After I finish all of the leaves, I'll switch to the final stencil. This one has the stems for the leaves, the polka dots for the top of the mushroom, and also the stems for the acorns. I'll use some tacky tape to hold the stencil in place. I'm using a slightly darker red ink for the polka dots of the mushroom. And for all of the stems, I'm using icing on the cake. I use the smaller waffle flower blending brush for the polka dots of the mushroom. And for all of the stems, I'm using a regular blending brush from Catherine Pooler. It's the smaller size. She does have one that's slightly larger. Once I've stenciled all of the stems, my favorite part, removing the stencil and seeing the final result. I love how this turned out with the pretty bright colors. Now I'll cut out the panel using the largest size stitch torn rectangle die. After I've cut it out, I'm using some gold watercolor paint and adding a pretty splatter all over the background. I'll set that piece aside and let it dry. Now I'll work on the three leaves. I cut them out from solid cardstock, red, orange, and yellow. I'm adding a little extra color to each of the leaves. For the orange leaf, I use Mandarin Spice. For the yellow leaf, I'm using the Glitz ink color. For the red leaf, since it's already a fairly dark shade of red, I'm adding some brown ink to the edges using the spiced ink color from Catherine Pooler. And I'll also use that same spice color and add a little bit of brown to the edge of the yellow and orange leaves. I'm mostly adding ink to the top of the leaves and also the stems. This is an easy way to give your die cut images a different look. Now I'll flip over all three of the leaves, put foam dimension on the back, just putting it in the very center of each of the leaves. Using the stitch torn rectangle die set, I cut out a smaller rectangle from some vellum. I'll remove the release paper, add the maple leaf in the very center, the yellow leaf on the right side, tucking it underneath the maple leaf, and the orange leaf on the left side, also tucking it underneath the maple leaf. 
I'll set that aside. Now that my stenciled background panel is all dry, I'll put glue on the back and layer it on some dark brown cardstock. And this is the chocolate brown cardstock from Tonic Studios. I'll add my stencil layer on the brown cardstock, place an acrylic block on top, and I'm adding two different acrylic blocks to make sure I have coverage all over this panel. I did let that sit for a few minutes before removing the acrylic blocks. Now I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. And I noticed there was a tiny bit of the white card base showing, so I did go and trim that off. Now I'll put glue on the back side of the vellum rectangle, only putting it behind the three leaf die cut areas and a tiny bit at the bottom since it will be covered up with the sentiment. Now I'll use my fingers and curl up the edge of each of the leaves, giving it more of a dimensional look. I've already stamped and cut out the sentiment, Autumn Greetings. I stamped it on some light cream cardstock, and I'm using the leftover ink on my blending brush to add a little bit of color to the edge of the sentiment banner. Now I'll put thin foam dimension on the back. I'm using a white foam strip from Honeybee Stamps. I'll remove the release paper and add the sentiment underneath the three leaves. For embellishments, I'm using Pretty Pink Posh's new matte gold confetti mix. I've poured some in a small wooden bowl that my father made me. The nice thing about using a wooden bowl instead of plastic, you don't have to deal with the static issue when using sequins. I'll first add a drop of Barely Art glue. Use my embellishment wand to pick up the sequins, then press them in place. I'll put two in the upper left-hand corner and three in the lower right-hand corner around the sentiment. For a final finishing touch, I'm using Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is the golden sunset color. I'm adding just a small amount to the edge of each of the leaves. When I donate cards, I don't like to use loose glitter. That's the nice thing about using Nouveau Glitter Drops. It's all sealed, none of it will come off, and it adds that beautiful sparkle. After cutting down the stenciled area, I still had some leftover stenciled image on the craft paper, so I trim that down and I'm adding it to the inside of the card, just for that little extra detail. I ended up making a total of 10 cards following this card design. I love how it turned out. The colors are fun and bright, perfect for an autumn card. I will be including a handwritten message inside each card before taking it to the retirement home. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. The new release from Pretty Pink Posh has so many fun fall products. There are lots of new stamps, stencils, die sets, and some pretty confetti mixes. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.